Okay, friends, here we go. We're getting ready for test number one. I'm fixing to knock it right in the head, okay? We got exam one, we got problem number two. This time we're doing a strain problem. Shear strain, shear strain, okay? It's not just strain, but it's shear strain, okay? So we're doing both those things. What are those things? Number one, strain is what? They asked us to find strain on line AC and strain on line BD, and then find shear strain at A, at B, at C, at D, at these corners, okay? So what are they, what are these things, what are they? Number one, strain is what? It's delta L divided by the original length. So the change in length divided by the original length, okay? Or you can say this, you could say this. Uh, length new, um, yeah, new minus length original divided by length original, right? Of course, length new minus length original will give you the delta L, but that's going to give you strain, okay? That's what we got to do first. And then shear strain, what is shear strain? Remember, that's a change in angle, okay? Now, don't be cheating on me. You should be pushing pause and you should be working this problem and you should be only watching this after you get through or, or if you get stuck, okay? Okay, and we, we have this little sign convention here that it's if it's in this quadrant, it's gonna be plus, and if it's in that quadrant, it's minus, and then this one's plus, and that one's minus, okay? So if I have a corner that is changed into this quadrant, I'm gonna call that change a plus. If it changes over into this quadrant, I'm gonna call it a minus. And what else do I know? I know that this is going to be in radians, okay? So be careful. Now you can do everything in degrees, but then calculate it, change it back to radians at the end, okay? It's okay to do that. All right, let's see if we can do this, okay? Let's start off with these two guys, corner to corner. Now here's a little secret. If this is 300 and that's 400, then this right here must be what? Okay, so right there, I know the original length of that, that line was 500 millimeters, and that's from A to C. Now, they also want to know from B to D, right? They want to know this way here as well. It's the same thing, okay? So, what is the new length of AC? Well, AC now goes from here down to there, right? So let's make us a big triangle, right? If I drop a line straight down from here to the bottom, right? Then what do I have? This length across the bottom is what? 406, isn't it? Isn't that 406? 400 plus six more. And then what is this height right here? Well, it's 300 plus six more. So the height is 306, isn't it? Okay. So what's the new length? The new length is 406 squared plus 306 squared square root, which is, I don't know. Okay, here we go, clear. 406 squared plus 306 squared equals square root equals 508.4. So it started out at 500, now it's 508.4. And so strain, that very first one, strain AC, right? This guy right here is going to be equal to what? How much did it grow? It grew 8.4 divided by 500 is equal to, and that's going to give me my answer, isn't it? 8.4 divided by 500, point zero one six eight. Okay, and that's millimeters per millimeter, okay? That's number one. Okay, what's number two? They went from B to D. Okay, now where did that go? Now D is over here, right? And B is, is over here, right? Okay, so I need that new length. Now it was originally 500. What's the new length? 
Again, let's make ourselves a triangle here, okay? I'm dropping a line down here, and I'm coming across this way, okay? So the bottom of my triangle down here is what? Well, it's uh, 403 to there, and then from here to here is 2. So 403 minus 2 is 401, isn't it? So that's 401, and what is this over here? Well, this is 302 minus that much there, which is, I didn't put it on here, 3 millimeters, okay? So 402 minus 3 gives you what? I'm sorry, 302 minus 3. 299, okay? So this side over here is 299 now. So it actually shrunk, didn't it? So 299 millimeters, okay? So what does that mean? Okay, 306 squared plus 299 squared, square root. Okay. What is that? 306 squared plus 299 squared. 427.82. Okay. Is that right? No, that's not right. That's not right. It's not 306, it's 401. What are you doing? 401 squared. Okay, that looked too little, didn't it? 401 squared plus 299 squared equals square root 500.2, okay. Right, so it's 500.2, it's 0 0.202, we'll put 202, right? A little round later. So let's go do that guy over there. So BD corner started out 500, and even though this went over here, it went over and up, even after all those changes, it still grew a little bit, it grew only 0 0.202 though. Okay, so what's that going to be? So 0 0.202 divided by 500, woo, three zeros and a four. 0 0.1234, right, one, two, three, four, yep, millimeters per millimeter. It almost stayed the same, but not quite. Okay, are you with me? Now, I'm going to erase some of this because I got a little too busy going on here, don't I? Got too much going on. Okay, because now we're talking about these corners, right? We've got our, we got the middle done. We're talking about corners now. Okay, so let's get rid of all this distraction. Okay, get rid of that up there. Okay, so the way you do this, okay, is you go to point A and just overlay our um, sign convention there, right? So I'm just going to overlay that plus. Here it is. Bam. Okay. And this grew, uh, and uh, that's my little change, my little angles that it changed, right? It was 90, and now it's something different. And then these two guys added together, these two little skinny triangles added together, that's going to be my gamma at A. So I've got to get these two little angles and add them together, okay? And look here. Both of these went into quadrant number one. Quadrant number one is what? It's a plus. So I'm going to take that guy. He's going to be positive. That guy's going to be positive. I'm going to add them together, okay? Again, this is as simple as making a couple of really skinny little triangles and finding the angles, okay? So here we go. Let's do this. We got this long triangle right here, okay? It looks like this. It looks like that. This side here is 403. <clears throat> 403. And this side over here is what? It's just 3. Okay? So I got that angle there defined. And then this triangle over here goes this way. Skinny triangle is what? 302. Okay? 302 by 2. 
Okay, so I got that little angle right there. I need this and that and add them together. Let's see what we get here. What do we do? Inverse 10, 3 divided by 403 equals, now you could just put your calculator, let's do that. Let's just put our calculator in um, radians. Now danger, the whole rest of the test, you're going to be finding things in degrees, right? You just switch your calculator to radians. Don't forget to switch it back, okay? That would be very bad, wouldn't it? All right, I'm in radians now, clear. Here we go. So 3 divided by 40303 03 equals, and then inverse tan of that is this guy right here, okay, is 0 0.007444. Okay, and this guy over here, what's he going to be? 2 divided by 302 equals, and then inverse tan of that is, this guy up here is 0 0.006622. Okay, again, we'll add those two together. So plus 0 0.007444 equals, dun, 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 drum roll please, 0 0.014, 0 0.014 radians. Woo! That's not too bad. Is this is just geometry, isn't it? This is just some triangles here. It's all this is, the whole thing. Okay, it's just getting your sign convention right and doing some angles. Okay, let's do this again. Point B. Let me do this. Okay, I'm gonna draw my bullseye on top of point B. Right. This angle here, what did it do? It's in quadrant one, so that's going to be a positive. This angle right here, right? This angle right here, it's in quadrant number three. It's positive again. So on this guy, I'm going to add them together, okay? Again, I'm just going to add them together. So what do I have, okay? All right, so let's do this little skinny triangle right here. So I have a triangle that goes like this. And what do I know, right? If I come up from here, all right, if that's three, then this side of my triangle over here has to be three, doesn't it? Three. And what's the height of my triangle? There's my triangle. What's the height? The whole height is 406 minus three leaves you with 403. So there's, there's that one angle that I need right there. And then the second triangle, well, the second triangle here, guess what? It's that triangle, isn't it? Here's this one that I drew. This one is this one here. It's the same triangle, okay, which was 0 0.07444. So I got to get this guy, and to that I'm going to add 0 0.007444, okay? So what's that guy? 3 divided by 403 equals inverse tan, answer, equals, woo -woo. it's the same as that triangle, isn't it? Oh man, I didn't even see that. Seven, four, 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 right? How about just times two? Times two equals, here we go, point zero one four eight eight eight. How about oh one four nine? Okay. Number next is corner C. Again, draw a bullseye over corner C. Okay, both angles, this one and that one, whoop, are both into quadrant three. So they're go this is going to be positive. That's going to be positive. I'm going to add those two together. Okay, so my triangle, where does it go? Okay, uh, let's see. Want to do it to here? Yeah, let's just do it to right there. Okay, this triangle. So it's a long skinny triangle. Okay. And how long is it? It's 406, right? Gets me to here. Minus 2 leaves me with 404. And then what's this side over here? What is that distance right there? Well, if the whole thing is six, 
and that's 2, then the leftover must be 4. Okay, that's, that's triangle number 1. And then triangle number 2 is this one right here. You know what? That one is that one right there, isn't it? It's the same triangle again. Okay, so it's this guy plus 0 .007444. 0 what is this guy? Opposite over adjacent. 4 divided by 404 equals, um, and then inverse tan of that is point zero zero nine nine zero zero. Okay, so plus point zero zero seven four 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 equals. 0 0.0173, okay? So the next guy down here, 0 0.0173, okay? Radians. One more to go, gang, one more to go, and that is this guy up here, whoop, nope, right here, okay? And again, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna draw my bullseye over the top of them. Okay, I've got one angle here, that's in quadrant one. I got one angle here. It's in quadrant three. So they're both gonna be pluses. I'm gonna add them together again. And what do I have? Well, I have that triangle again, right? For this guy. So this guy is gonna be point zero zero nine nine zero zero. And then I've got this guy, which is uh, 302, which was this which was that guy, right? So this one here is 0 0.006622. So I add those two together, 0 0.006622 plus 0 0.00973. Equals 0 0.0165. Okay? 0 0.0165. radians, okay? And there should be your answers, okay? All right. Strain. Surely we don't lose any points on strain, right? I hope not. All right, I hope this helps. Let's go to the next problem, okay?